Now, let's remember this non-homogeneous case, which we've already used. If you have a non-homogeneous case of the form polynomial in A on F is G, and G is some function, but it's not zero, if you can find any solution to it whatsoever, whether you devise it yourself, you get it from a friend, you check it, you get it from the web, you buy it, or it doesn't matter. If you can find any solution to it whatsoever, then the general solution is of the form H0 plus F, where F is just the solution to the associated homogeneous equation. Now, I actually want to say something about the proof of this, because as, as I'm saying on the slide here, this is pretty straightforward. So this is just a, the idea. So H0 is a particular solution. This is a particular solution. What does that mean? That means the polynomial in A operating on H0 is the right-hand side G. Then I claim is that every solution, every solution has the form H0 plus F where the polynomial in A operating on F is zero. And Alice walks in and says, I got another one. I found a function, let's call it phi of x, or phi, phi of n. Phi is a solution. So Alice, who's always outspoken, Alice says phi is a solution. Okay. Now, I say, thank you, Alice. And then I just point this out. P of phi, the P of A, operating on phi is G because it's a solution. And we've already noted that this is polynomial of A operating on H. Uh, H0. So what's the polynomial of A operating on phi minus H0? Take the difference of the two functions, phi and h0, and apply the polynomial on a to them. You get g minus g, which is the zero function. So phi minus h0 is a solution to the homogeneous case. And that means phi, that's a phi, is H0 plus F. Thank you very much, Alice. You just told us what we already knew. So it's a trivial. I mean, that's, you know, that's, uh, I mean, you just have to understand the symbols. So find one particular solution and learn all the other material in the course and you have the solution to the general form of the non-homogeneous case. Now, I made this comment last time. The, the tricky part to this is finding one particular solution. The homogeneous one, su subject to the challenge of factoring, is easy. OK, let's go back to it. Okay, the question. The homogeneous 
solution would be the one that's equal to zero? Exactly. Non-homogeneous, there's a function on the right-hand side that's not identically zero. The homogeneous case is when the function is the zero function. Okay? Okay. I have a question about Good. Yes. How do you show that there's only one, one phi, so only one h naught that satisfies that equation? That's not even true. Because remember, if H naught is a solution, H naught plus F is a solution for any F that's a solution to the homogeneous case. In general, there's bazillions of those. So there's bazillions of particular solutions. And so, which, which raises this interesting possibility that if there's so many of them, why are they hard to find? <coughs> That's, that's why people get salaries, is to do difficult things. Why should you be paid to do simple things? Okay. Okay. The next 10 minutes, 15 minutes maybe, are for a quarter of you. Um, if you really are interested in the explanation behind this, okay, pay attention. If you're not, and you're content just to know the techniques, pull out your smartphones, uh, don't make noise, don't, and, and do something else. Okay, because I, I, I'm going to at least sketch for you the ideas behind this proof. They're, 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 they're much more complicated than what we just did, but not, not, too doable. Okay, we got a fear. Thing. I don't see any glazed eyes. If you're going to be glazed, pull out your smartphone and check your email or something. <laughs>